When you have to make a scoring correction, I will show you how easy it is to do from the front desk. What we need to do is make a score correction on lane number one. We'll click here on the lane. And then if I click up here on this button here for this score, I am going to be shown all of the scores that are happening on lane number one. You can see here that we're in game number three. We have three players, Jim, Bob, and Terry. If I needed to make a score correction on uh, Terry's first, uh, first frame here, but ball number two, I click on the frame that is incorrect, and I am shown here on this side of the screen which pins were actually left standing. If he got an eight count and the nine pin shouldn't really be there, I can set it up or knock it down. If I don't want to uh, figure out which pins that it was exactly, I can also just use the um, the actual number pad over here, and it will stand up some pin of its choice. Of course, if it was a spare, I can mark it as a spare. If it was a gutter ball, this is gutter. If the ball was a foul, I can mark it as a foul. And the P is for, pro for provisional ball and that has to do with uh, league bowlers and league play in case you must go into arbitration court and contest that frame you must mark the frame as a provisional ball the trash can will actually delete the whole entire frame and that is usually because somebody bowled on the wrong lane once I've made my score correction over here I can click on OK and now I can see here that we have a nine count and the frame is underlined, meaning that somebody has made a modification to that score. And that is how it is, uh, that is how easy it is to actually make a scoring correction. And I want to show you one more tip here. Let's go back to the main screen of bowling. Usually, the bowlers will come to the front desk or they'll call you with the intercom and they will say that um, I need to make a score correction for Jim Osdale. If you click on the lane here, and then if you select Jim Osdale here with a check mark, by placing a check mark here and then clicking on score, it will only show you the games that Jim has bowled. So I've selected Jim. Let's click on the score. And you can see here that it shows just Jim's three games. It's also a kind of a neat little feature in case you wanted to print out just Jim's games. But in this case, we wanted to make a scoring correction. I click on the 7, and it was really a strike. And I can click on OK. Now, I do want to show you one more uh, feature that, that you might have seen. It's called Set Pins. If you have Brunswick GS machines, I can click on this frame here. And I can say that the person really left the 10 pin. And if I knock over all of those pins, I can click on the set pins button here, but I think set pins is not available because the score has not been uh, actually determined yet. Click OK. If I go back to the 9 and then I say set pins, I can set, click on set pins and the actual uh, pin will be set up on the deck if there are no pins. So you can use this feature here to set specific pins on the lane. And like I said, this button here called Set Pins, it will not be available for most bowling centers because the Brunswick GS machine is not installed in very many bowling centers here in North America. However, they are uh, being used at the USBC tournament, so we needed to have the ability to set up specific pins or what Brunswick has called in the past set figures on the actual pin deck. Click on OK and we are taken out of the scoring correction screen. I can click here on go back to lane management and that is how easy it is to make a scoring correction.